Hello, so this is a presentation of architecture principles. This is a presentation you should use uh, for the CIO, CTO architecture level at the bank. It's not for functional people, it's not for uh, business people, it's for the architects. And you should uh, use this to explain uh, why our architecture is the way it is, what it is, and how it relates to the architecture of the bank. So, to begin with, here's an overview of our technology architecture. So, to begin with, there are devices, particularly uh, internet and mobile devices and tablets. And, and they need to connect to the bank, and they do that through our user experience platform. Uh, and we provide either a role-based user agent, like for a trader or a teller, or a product-based user interface for uh, core banking or for portfolio management, for example. The, behind these user interfaces are the, is the business information system. And the business information system consists of record keeping and analytics. So I'm not referring to any particular application here. This isn't particularly AAA plus or particularly T24. It could be either or it could be something else. But, but any application will have both a record keeping aspect and an analytics aspect. Um, and in fact, the role of the record keeping is to keep track of business events and the role of the analytics is to present business content. So the information system as a whole is about turning business events into business content. Typically, banks have been good at the business events and not so good at the business content. So uh, business content is um, very much a focus of the architecture. Uh, the other reason for focusing on business content is that uh, the banks, instead of the tellers doing the transactions, we're having the users, the customers of the bank, do the transactions. So the customers of the bank are using mobile phones or, or the internet bank to do the transactions. And when that happens, the ratio of query to update balloons. We go from a 5 to 1 ratio for a teller to a 500 to 1 ratio for a, a mobile bank. Um, so that means we have 100 times more query to do than we have in the past, which means we have to change the architecture and focus on analytics. So how do we get from the user experience platform to the record keeping to the business content? And that's through the frameworks. So first of all, the interaction framework, uh, which allows a, a role-based user agent to talk to any of the bank's record keeping, any of the bank's analytics. So this could be record keeping provided by us, analytics provided by us, or record keeping analytics provided by third parties, either existing applications in the bank or new applications they implement uh, using third party software. Also attached to the interaction framework is uh, a possibility of an API, so an API for presenting all of this capability to other people's user, uh, user agents, uh, and a workflow station. So in 100% straight through processing, all, and 100% self-assisted transactions, all of the transactions are entered uh, predominantly by the customers of the bank, and the bank only needs to get involved if transactions don't go straight through, and they use the workflow for managing the uh, remediation of those transactions. Um, and you also see how we get from record keeping to analytics. Every event uh, that takes place in record keeping goes into the integration framework, and the integration framework can feed the events needed for analytics into the data framework. Note that I'm not showing any databases here. I'm just showing a collection of record keeping services and a collection of analytics services. I'm not showing the data that feeds them. That data is, is down here, uh, um, technically on the, on the, on the, on the diagram. Uh, now, how do we attach the outside world to all this? So first of all, uh, the integration framework, as well as feeding data framework, can feed business events into the bank's integration architecture. The bank's integration architecture will be centered on enterprise service buses. And the enterprise service bus can send events to third party uh, transaction processing, or can receive events from third party transaction processing. Um, so that, that's the connection of the rest of the bank's uh, record keeping to our record keeping. And of course, the interaction framework can present OLTP capability to any of these uh, role-based user agents. So that can include 
a workflow manager, a case manager, a content manager, uh, or a credit card processing, anything else that the bank does that we don't provide. Uh, in the same way that we can connect the rest of the bank's transaction processing, we can also connect the rest of the bank's analytic services. Um, so uh, from our data framework, you can run extract, transform, and load software to pick up the banks uh, to create cubes from our data for third-party reporting. Um, in general, if the bank has its own data warehouse, it won't feed it this way. It will take this set of events here and feed that into the data warehouse. This is an important point. Um, this data feed has all the context of every transaction that takes place uh, in our record keeping. That context is necessary to, put the, to split this event into the multiple inserts into a data warehouse. You can only do this uh, if this uh, cube here understands this data. So, for example, the bank OLAP could be mashing up our data with data warehouse data. Um, and of course, uh, we have a reporting workstation, just like we have a workflow workstation. And the reporting st workstation uh, can, is used for people who, who just want to do uh, analytic processing on either our data, uh, the bank's data, or a mashup of our data and the bank's data. Okay, so that fully explains uh, the approach to the architecture. I've shown the three key uh, frameworks for, that we use for talking to the rest of the world. The interaction framework for talking to users and user agents, the integration framework for um, exchanging events with other transaction processing, and also for feeding events into data, and the data framework for converting our business events into inserts into our analytic processing, uh, and that same feed for going into the bank's uh, data warehousing. Thank you very much.